Hey everybody, welcome back. Got another great knife here from Benchmade Knife Company. This one's the 381 Ale Fume. And just so you know, just got released. I'm excited to bring it to you. So this is the box it comes in. We're gonna put this off to the side and we're gonna take a peek at what comes inside. Now inside you get your standard microfiber pouch that the knife comes in. Uh, we'll put that up there as well. And then in this one, you get a extra set of screws. And we'll kind of cover what those are for here in just a minute. You also get a little instruction manual on uh, how the warranty works and stuff. But this is the knife itself. This is the 381 Ale Fume. I'll let you take it all in there for a second. And then let's open it up. It is a friction folder. And you may have seen this one, it looks very familiar. They have a similar model, the 380 Ale. So there is a couple differences, and I'll show that off here in a minute. But just want to go over this one and show you what the details are. I do like the coloring, I do like the handles as well, or the scales, as well as you know the pivot collar and the spacers there. So this is a rich light material that they're using for the scales. And then you'll notice right here, it's not made for your thumbs or fingers. It's made for cigars. It's made to be a cigar cutter. So this would come down, cigar cutter. Now you've seen the cigar cutters they have. Very ornate, very detailed and elaborate. And they work fantastic. I have one of them. If you haven't seen my uh, review on that, I'll, I'll link it below. Uh, but yeah, so I'm excited to try this one out. Um, I'll be another, I'll, there will be another video comparing those, uh, cigar cutters and this one as well. Um, but this one does have, you know, the standard six tools on it. So it's got your, uh, it's a 56 gauge ring cigar cutter. It has a bottle opener that's on the back side of the blade. So we'll get the fingers out of the way and close it. So you do have your bottle opener there. You do have a screwdriver on this end. You also have your pry tip and a bit for micro slots. I think those are the quarter inch size. Uh, your scales are that um, kind of a, they call it a chocolate brown, red layered, rich light. And this is a um, pocket clip on here, as well as a money clip. And you are able to take this off and then use these screws here take the spacers out, or you can go without it and just put the screws in there. So that's kind of a neat option as well. But yeah, so let's look at the blade really quick. We'll go over some stats as well. We'll get this opened up. So you kind of, with me, I have to like put my ring finger here and then just kind of use it to pry open right there. Now, like I said, it is a friction folder. It is international friendly. So you can take this in many countries. Uh, pack it in your checked luggage only. Obviously, you can't carry it on the plane with you. But the designers um, behind this that Benchmade originally teamed up with the 380, as you can see there, we'll get a close-up of their logos. So you have Patrick Famine and Eric de Mongavet, and they're out of France. And so this one, obviously inspired, you have the Fumé on the title, the 381 Ale Fumé, uh, fume is smoke in French. So that's what it kind of stands for. So, uh, in their language. So it's kind of cool that this is kind of your cigar cutter, AKA going for the smoke on the fume portion. So I do how, you know, like how this has a little cut out for like a, a finger choil somewhat right here. So it kind of keeps the blade in place. You do have also a little bit of jimping added to this one. So it's kind of nice. You can kind of get a double, if you're cutting through some stuff, uh, or you can keep your thumb back here. It does have a sharpening choil as well. And the blade itself, <clears throat> hopefully you can see that, but it's a guillotine. It's a guillotine style blade. Let's see if we can get that shown in there. It's probably the most difficult one to show. There you go. So you can see how the blade comes down. That's made for cutting when it comes through here. So, one of the things that we'll be testing out is you get your typical cigar 
something like this, you know, you're going to stick, well, not, not that in, but you'll stick this in here and then just close it up and then enjoy your fine cigar. So looking forward to that. I will be testing it out on a couple uh, of the cigar cutters, but I needed to uh, kind of employ some friends to help uh, test those cigars out once they're cut. So we will be doing that. And it also has a space for lanyards. So lanyard fans, you can reunite. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Uh, the quick stats on it, let me read it off my little machine here, but the blade length 1.6 inches long, overall open 4.4 inches, closed 3.3 inches, and a weight of 1.6 ounces. So uh, MSRP is gonna be 160. Uh, several retailers, you can find it for much less than that. So I think this is a, a pretty good win, and especially for the cigar cutter option. So I'm guessing when you're gonna be coming down through, and then you can use this as some of your uh, pressure as well to help just make that cut nice and clean. So I'll be testing that out in the next video. Uh, let's look at it compared to the 380 Ale real quick. This is the 380 one. I like the blue and black combo with the G10 on this one, but there's the two of them together. What do you guys think? You guys like that? Which one do you prefer? Added cigar cutter? Now they have the same cuts on the blade. They're both the guillotine style. And you can kind of see that one. But yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Let me know which one you guys would get. And then just a size comparison. Um, just got a Benchmade bug out. So we'll put the Benchmade bug out out there. So you can kind of see just overall comparison. It does rest on this pocket clip, money clip combo right here. So that's why it's kind of off centered, but that's what it is size difference comparison wise. But yeah, so just a nice small, something you can carry in your pocket um, with your money, or you can take it off and just let it rest in the bottom of your pocket. It's got some great little tools on it and now it's cigar cutter. So I'm excited for the cigar cutter and uh, excited to get that tested out here in the next day and then get that video out to you guys so you can see uh, in use what this 381 Ale Fume does put to the test. So, all right, you guys, thanks again for watching. Leave some comments below, hit that like and subscribe button. Um, always great, great to give back to you guys, uh, especially this time of year. Hope you guys are doing great. Have a great rest of your day and a fantastic week. Do something kind for someone and take care.